just want to express uh, my uh, appreciation to the ambassadors of uh, our uh, sister republics in the, uh, this hemisphere for their courtesy in coming to this swearing in. I'm sorry we gave them such short notice, but I only uh, realized it was going to be done uh, over at the aid agency this afternoon, and therefore I wanted it brought over here, and I suggested that they call you, and if you were not tied up, that you would come over and participate in this ceremony, which I think is so important to this country. So we're grateful to you, and we regret the uh, notice was not uh, longer, but it shows that ambassadors are like firemen and always ready to move out. And uh, Ms. Justice, we want to, uh, why don't you proceed, then I might just say a word. We agree with those words. Uh, Ambassador, and I want to again express uh, my great pleasure at your willingness to assume this responsibility after having been ambassador to Venezuela. And I think the fact that uh, we asked you to come back from there and that uh, to assume this new uh, duty, I think, indicates the great importance we place on it. Our efforts, economic efforts, in uh, this hemisphere are will be directed through the Alliance for Progress and, uh, with, uh, and through you, working under the uh, guidance of uh, Mr. Fowler Hamilton and the Secretary of State. But uh, we want uh, everyone to know in this hemisphere that uh, we are proceeding ahead and uh, are going to make a major effort to uh, accomplish uh, the task we set out to do. So that uh, symbolically, it's a pleasure to participate in this ceremony with the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, and with the uh, ambassadors from uh, the countries uh, who are so intimately a part of our lives. Gentlemen, we're glad you came today, and uh, we're very grateful, as I say, that you came uh, under the conditions you did. And uh, Ambassador Woodward, I know, uh, joins in expressing his satisfaction at this uh, decision. Thank you very much. Thank you.